Hello and welcome to this video in which I will show you how to plot the probability density function and the cumulative distribution function of a normal random variable using Excel. So let's suppose that we would like to plot the probability density function of a normal random variable with a mean of 1 and a standard deviation of 1 and on the same graph we would like to plot a second probability density function with a mean of 3 and a standard deviation of 1. The way we'll do this in Excel is the following. First, we need to create a set of x values that we're going to use to compute the probability density function. So we'll label this x. The next column over, I'll label f of x. This is our probability density function. Now we want to create our plot of this distribution with a mean of 1 and a second plot with a distribution with a mean of 3. Our standard deviation is 1 and so we probably ought to start plotting values that are two standard deviations away from the mean. So in this example if our mean is 1 and our standard deviation is 1 then we should probably start two units before then which would have a start at minus 1. And for the sake of this example, let's assume that we'll have 0 0.05 spacing between each value that we compute. With this spacing, the next largest point would be minus 0.95. Now I can create a whole sequence of values that are spaced 0 0.05 apart. I do that by selecting these two values and then just dragging the corner down and just keep dragging it until I get to the value that I want to end at. And we'll end at a value of 5 because 5 would be two standard deviations above the larger mean that we're trying to plot. I now have all the x values. To compute the density function, I will use the following. Use the norm dist function and we'll have it work with an x value that we've put in. We want the mean in this one to be 1 and the standard deviation to be 1 and we don't want it to be a cumulative distribution function so we want it to be a probability density function so we'll put in false. And that gives us the value of the normal probability density function with a mean of 1 and a standard deviation of 1 evaluated at the x value of minus 1. So to get these values, we now just drag this all the way down. Like that. Let's plot the density function to see if it looks like what we think it should. So I'll select my x values and my density function values. Go to insert a chart and we'll do a line chart and you can see that it gives us something that looks like this. And what we have is something that does indeed look like a normal density function. It has a peak at 1 where 1 is the mean of the density and um, it looks like it's significantly non-zero for about three standard deviations away from the mean. Let's create a second density function and I'll call this g of x. This density function we want to correspond to a normal random variable with a mean of three and a standard deviation of one. So again we use norm dist and this will be our x value we want now the mean to be 3, the standard deviation to be 1, and again, we want it to be a density function, not a cumulative distribution function, so we'll type false here. Hit return. Then we'll select this corner and drag it down. And that now gives us our second density function. We should be able to plot both density functions now by selecting all three columns 
and then and you can see that we have both density functions. We have one density function with a mean of 1 and a second density function with a mean of 3. So that's how you compute the probability density function and plot it. We can also compute the cumulative distribution function using the spreadsheet. To do that, let's go back here and change our faults to true, which will give us now a cumulative distribution function. Let's do that on the second one. And now let's grab both of these and pull them all the way down. And you can see now that we have our cumulative distribution function. Both cumulative distribution functions start with a value of zero. The function corresponding to the random variable with a mean of one has a value of 0.5 at the mean. The cumulative distribution function corresponding to the random variable with a mean of 3 has a value of 0.5 at 3, and they both asymptotically approach 1. So hopefully you found this video useful. Thanks for watching.